Hello everyone and welcome to the Geek Tech Show. In today's episode of the Geek Tech Show, we are going to be talking about the M6 camera. Brand new. So what makes it such a great camera? Well, in this video we are not really going to be talking about what makes it an awesome camera, but more about the accessories that you can get for this camera and why you should get them. First one is this automatic mount adapter this is the original one that comes with canon i had the one before that didn't come with canon and i noticed the problem with autofocusing with canon lenses it wasn't so great this is why i got the original one that is for use with canon and i outfitted this with the 50 millimeter lens on top of it so what's so great about this is that now I can take very nice pictures with a 1.8 millimeter lens. Or oh, 1.8 millimeter, what I mean is 1.8 aperture and 50 millimeter lens. So when you take it out, and you can put it right back in. And this is the M mount. With the M mount itself, you can actually accessorize this camera with any kind of lens that you want. Pretty much as long as it works for Canon, it's gonna work for this lens. So this 50 millimeter is just a normal Canon lens outfitted with the M mount adapter. Any other lens for this one is just gonna be too big. And I found this one to be the best one for this. Now let's keep talking about accessorizing your Canon. What else and what kind of lens should you get? Well, one of the most important ones is the Super Zoom. Super Zoom which is unfortunately not as super as it should be. 55 millimeter to 200 millimeter included image stabilization built right inside of it. And this is a very good lens, by the way. When you extend it all the way to 200 millimeter, well, there's the minuses with that, which is 6.3 aperture, not so great. And the most is 4.5. Well, the M lenses are not known for having the best aperture. So if you have to have a close-up and you're going to the zoo or the beach, well, this is the lens for you. But to top it off, you have to understand that you're talking about slim size here. Something that is 200 millimeter is not going to be this small for the M lenses. I mean, if you're getting something for a DSLR, this is going to be so much more bigger. So you have to have one that is a zoom lens with you and that's the one I use 55 to 200 millimeter next thing is this one I believe that this came with the kit lens it is the 18 to 55 millimeter standard walk around lens so this specific one also extends just a little bit interesting enough it extends almost as much well not as much but it is kind of sizable compared to the 55 to 200 millimeter but together you have the whole extended range here from 200 millimeter all the way to 18 millimeter with both of those now with that said you definitely should right away upgrade from the kit lens the great thing about the kit lens it has a micro mode it's not so great but it is a micro mode the next thing that i went about and i grabbed for this was there very good ones and this is an amazing one I do totally recommend this it's the Canon macro lens the 28 millimeter 3.5 and this actually features a super macro to it to top it off it has a built-in flash right inside of it that you can actually control and turn it on by pressing the right switch right on the side of this so this is actually one of the best lights macro lenses that I ever see and it comes in the smallest possible size so if you're doing a lot of micro photography this is definitely the lens for you and you can't beat the built-in flash in here because when you're doing micro photography and you need to take a picture of something super close by you do need the flash and since it's built right inside of it you can't beat that you really can't and this is actually one of the must-have lens that you should be getting for your M6, M3, and the M50 as well. If you have any of those cameras. Well, next one we're going to be talking about, another lens I got, is the 22mm. 
this is the one that's actually 1.2 which is very good because you get a lot of whites inside of this lens and because of that it's actually super recommended for you to use and look how slim this is so the super lens i totally recommend for you to use and it is in my protective bag probably wondering what it is but this is one of my favorite and from the macro photography one this is actually i would say number one or just beats that it is the 11 to 22 millimeter lens so this is for super wide angle kind of photography and it is super small too in fact it's almost identical in size to the kit lens you can't really tell which one is which except this is a bit heavier than the kit lens over here so if you're going to do a lot of mm, wide angle photography going to places with huge landscapes and stuff like that this is definitely the lens for you so those actually are all the lenses that i recommend for you to use when it comes to the m kit um, m60 or m6 or m50 whichever one you get now one thing you also should have very important accessory is some kind of a bag that you can put everything inside so just having something just to put your camera in is just good enough you don't need anything else more than that it should cover all the bases just in case you get wet and my favorite brand for this is the low pro and it sometimes has a waterproof thing that you can put right over it this specific version does not which is a big bummer because it's a very good company a few other things that i totally recommend for you to get and there is never enough of those it is mini tripods one of them is right on the camera in fact the best one is right on it which is the Mano photo but those are very similar to the Mano photo one but those are the cheap versions of the Mano photo so here's two of them and i'm just going to be using one as an example so the Mano photo one is very similar to this one there is one that the legs actually extend and it is a mini tripod that you can use to stabilize your pictures and take amazing pictures just about anywhere also if you're using it as a selfie stick you can do that as well selfie stick you can walk around and take pictures you couldn't ever take before very simple screw this in you can put this anywhere and take your own selfies with it and it's much easier than holding the camera with your hand plus you have a more solid grip as well and you can get in places you can never ever dream or could get before up down anywhere you want and you know what this is better grip than just your hand so this is great especially if you're a vlogger now you can vlog and do it and actually not look like a fool plus you have a much better grip now than you used to have before easier you can even do it with one hand but think about it this way if you're doing it like this not only it is much heavier for you to actually grab it actually feels much heavier doing it this way it's also much harder for you than controlling it with something like this so this is an essential essential tool for any photographer talking about essentials you want to have great sound as well so one of the things that i have with me is one of those which is the mini audio mic and this is actually the favorite one that i use if the sound is good enough you don't need it but if you do need it you can post it right here now there's one disadvantage when you do post it right here you can't see yourself with the selfies well there is a solution to that there's actually a solution to this one now there's two solutions the super cheap one is getting one of those mics but it's it's you know coded it doesn't work as well there is a really super solution to this the cheapest solution is this this fancy thing yep so what do you do well you just go ahead you screw this on this like this see like that and you put this right here yes it looks weird but at the same exact time you can actually do selfies and see yourself when you're recording yourself 
using this whole scheme right here. It works really great. It works great, I mean. It works more than great. It works awesome. Now, when it comes to going ahead and getting some lights, well, I have this thing right here. This is called the Spondo or Quando, <laughs> that's actually the Quandos here. The Kong Quandos. So the Kong Quandos goes right on top of this, just like that. Whoa! And guess what? This Kwan Kwan Dos is indestructible, pretty much. So even if it falls, well, my battery right now is not charged, but I will have to charge it. You take the battery, post it in here, you close it up. This thing is shockproof, waterproof. It is just proof everything abuse proof you can even beat this part with a hammer it still work this is for underwater photography it's actually built for for that so i just dropped it in concrete and it's still good now you might say turn this on and see if it still works well it's not gonna work right now the battery is dead so i have to charge it but when i charge it i'm gonna get definitely make another video uh show you what is this awesome thing that you can use in order to do videos with your Canon. So this is definitely another essential feature you definitely should have. Talking about essentials and protection, the Pelican for all your cards, memory cards. Right inside of here, you can go ahead and store as many as you want. So this specific version actually has an extra an extra seal proof right on top of this now one thing is you can get one that has all eight of those in fact this is a special edition one i created myself that has only room for four of them with a very nice rubbery pad right here to super protect them this is actually gives them extra protection so just in case somebody even a truck runs over this thing you're still having all everything you have in here super safe that is how great pelican actually makes it for now what i did is i bought two of those and i divided all the cards between both of them so i have four of them in one of them and four of them in another one and if you have enough memory cards you can go on vacation anywhere you actually want and i have also a micro adapter in one of them as well also highly recommend it and the reason for that is quite simple another thing is well, what's the reason I recommend those things? Well, it is simple because when you're going to go and use them on a vacation, now we have as much as five different cards. One inside the camera, four right here, and with four different cards over here, every time I use them, I just switch them around and put them backwards. And this way I know every single time I use them up. So I have all four of them. When you're done and you're done using every single one of your cards, you put this right in here and it is in a safe storage space and you know not to touch it until you get back from whatever photo shoot that you've been doing. So I do recommend for you to have enough of those camera different SD cards that you can use so you, you can cycle through them. The important thing about cycling through them is just to make sure that all your job is going to get done. And if any of those memory cards go bad, you're now losing the 100% of your work. I also recommend it to use SunDesk company. It is one of the best and the most reliable company in the business. Make sure you don't buy any fakes. That's where you should get them from a reputable place such as Amazon. Another one is not eBay, but I would say a retail shop such as Best Buy and so on. So this way you make sure you're not getting any fakes because the fakes are getting so sophisticated and may actually look like the real deal. But I rather pay extra because I want to get the best possible card. And of course, if once anything goes wrong, anything goes bad, this is going to be your money pit, especially if you're doing wedding event photography. Very important. Nothing is more important than protecting your cards. So this might be the most important investment you can ever make with your camera equipment. That said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to the Geek Tech Show. And see you in the next video.